What's up everyone, it's the narrator here and I hope you all have a fantastic day and if your day is already over, well I hope it was a great one. So if you haven't seen it already, Naro released a statement on Twitter recently addressing the allegations that were brought forth by Zach a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen my first video detailing the allegations from Zach, then I'll leave a link on the top right of this video and in the description and I highly recommend you to watch the video to get an idea of what Zach was alleging happened because it adds into the context of what you know is transpiring at the moment. This also comes off the recent allegations put forth by Tamim where he explains that Zack and Semsora had supposedly colluded together to bring down Nairo by potentially blackmailing him. Again, there is a video I made addressing these things, so if you're out of the loop and want more context, then I recommend you to watch them. The links are all in the description. So I'll ask you now, do you think Nairo should be allowed back in the community? After you've watched this, let me know down in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more clear and concise explanations. Thank you. Now let's move on to Nairo's statement. So Nairo went to Twitter nine hours ago with a tweet labeled my statement where he posted screenshots and a text post detailing how he's taking legal action. There's a screenshot from a law firm called Najami Law stating that they are representing Nairo regarding allegations levied against him on Twitter. They state that Nairo's career and reputation have been unjustly taken from him. They state that Nairo has no criminal charges filed against him and whilst extremely unlikely that it would occur, they have a very aggressive defense that would exonerate him him or protect him in a court of law. So now we're going to move on to Nairo's post himself. So Nairo starts off by apologizing for how long it took to make this post. He says that he's had an attorney retained since July of 2020 and is planning to take legal action with an apparent 30 page document detailing the full timeline with evidence but due to legalities and because he's saving it for court he can't address everything here but he wants to address the most important parts. He then drops a pretty bold statement that Zach's allegations are all completely false. He says that in his panic seeing everyone throwing him aside with his friends not willing to hear him out, he thought why would anyone else? He says that in his panicked emotional state that he had given up and told a friend to write a vague apology and then he posted it. He then goes on to say that he was never in a relationship with Zach nor was he ever interested in him. He says that Zach is touchy with his friends where he would lean on them or lie in their laps so Nairo never really thought much about it. Nairo also says he is a pretty dense character and that he's oblivious to these type of things but really reiterates it that he is straight and everyone knows this, including Zach, which is why he never imagined Zach would do something to him. He then moves on to the timeline of CEO Dreamland, which if you remember, is when the allegations of Zach and Nairo's misconduct arose with conflicting statements from Zach and Tamim. Nairo says that Zach had incorrect hotel booking arrangements and needed a place to stay, otherwise he would be stranded with Zach saying that Nairo was his last hope as nobody else would host him. Nairo says that he reluctantly agreed and that they were sleeping in separate beds at the time. He then says that he woke up to Zach molesting him and that he freaked out and he was terrified. He says that his body froze up while Zach forcibly performed oral sex on him and that Naira yelled at him to stop but Zach refused. He says that he only managed to stop him after he pushed Zach off of him. Naira says that he was shaken up by everything, what Zach just did, his betrayal of trust in letting him stay and that he shut down. He then moves on to the following day. He says that Zach tried to touch him again without warning and Naira shut him down, saying that it was a legal and he felt disgusted about what had happened the previous night. Zach apparently tried to pressure him to do more despite Nairo's pleas and when Nairo told him to leave, Zach threatened to expose him saying he'd tweet out that they did sexual things together. Nairo says he couldn't believe it and begged him to stop this, but Zach held it over his head. He says that Zach blackmailed him into a second encounter of oral sex, but Zach gave up midway out of annoyance at how unwilling Nairo was at the time. Fast forward to Momocon of 2017, he says that Zach tried to blackmail him again but Nairo finally snapped as he had enough of being used. Nairo says that Zach felt guilty at his outburst and apologized, saying that he would never tell anyone and to privately resolve this. But in May of 2019, when the rumors went brewing, Zach reassured Nairo that he never told anyone and that he offered to take the bullet should it come to the point where the rumors became too much. Nairo says that he knew Zach was the source though because Nairo had never told anyone the full story. All versions of the story out there were from Zach and Zach alone. Nairo says that he never came out with the story due to feeling ashamed and feared that nobody would believe him. He says that he was in a constant state of severe anxiety and depression that he kept hidden from everyone else. He says that he couldn't sleep properly due to sleep paralysis and he internalized the guilt and shame for years to the point where he often considered suicide. He says he suffered alone in silence believing it to be his only choice in a situation where he felt so hopeless and powerless about his future. He also explains the money payments to Zach that many people interpret 
interpreted to be hush money payments. On August 13th of 2019, after Zack's sponsors dropped him, Zack asked Nairo for money and although Nairo was reluctant to do so and give it over, he had just seen what transpired between Ally and Zack, where Zack had blackmailed Ally. Nairo figured that it was best to just comply and sent three payments at Zack's request. $2,000 on August 13th, $275 on January 13th of 2020, and $350 on February 24th of 2020. He says that he never told him to do the, to do his part by staying quiet, and even Zach himself had confessed that the hush money story was false and to Mim's follow-up twit longer. Nairo says that after the allegations came out, he was crushed about how his silence had been worthless in the end and broke down, eventually opening up to his brother and closest friends about his story. But he learned that what had happened to him did have a word. He says that he was raped. He says that the cold hard truth is that Zach had raped him and blackmailed him and that he didn't understand what happened to himself. He never imagined he could be a victim of rape and never thought of what sexual assault looked like to a male victim. He says that he is currently seeing two therapists for months and that they have taught him a lot about sexual assault and reaffirmed that what happened to him was indeed rape and that freezing up and feeling powerless is a common reaction among victims and survivors of sexual assault can go months and even years without Without fully understanding what happened to them. He ends the statement saying that the Naira everyone saw and talked to on stream was honestly the real him. He never abused his position and power to hurt others and that he loved nothing more than bringing a smile to people's faces through his streams no matter what they were going through and giving back to the community. He felt that making other people happy was his purpose in life. He says that he lost all of it, his friends, his team, his ability to compete, his Twitch stream and his future. He lost his entire life to these horrible lies and thought of ending it all but he's glad he didn't continue to go down that path. He says to his closest friends who stuck by him and to the few people that reached out to him, he's very grateful to them and they are the reason he still is here today. He says that he cannot offer any more details, but should Zach or any other party continue to escalate this, his attorney will be dealing with it legally whilst he continues therapy.